He's knocked him over. Dave Mohammed has struck. Beaten in the flight here in Zaman. And how he's enjoying that. It took a long while to come into the attack. But uh, he's made use of this spell. Well, actually, he plays around <laughs> the line of the ball. Probably he was thinking the ball will turn and come into him. In fact, he played inside. And the ball went outside his bat. Absolutely, must be absolutely delighted, really, to get Nzamam out, as we've been saying. Nzamam goes without scoring, 140 for four. He has this habit to shuffle, and with a high back lift, he can get caught in, in difficult situations. Edge and taken, what a ball. Brilliantly bowled by Jerome Taylor, and this is a big wicket, a big breakthrough. And the smile on the, on the West Indian captain tells you the story. They've netted a big fish. Well, this is the area they needed to bowl in. Inzin doesn't really come forward, and he'll feel for it. And that one swung away from him, squared him up. He wasn't forward and took the edge. Easy catch to Canaria. West Indies. Dream start for the morning. Inzamam gone for 31. It's 269 for five. Did come back, but uh, rightly turned down, I think. But you could see Inzamam trying to counter 2A2 for three. Close enough to call. Close enough to call. Yes, sir. That's a major blow. And it's Jerome Taylor who does the job with the second new ball. This was the critical period and, well, West Indies have got rid of Nzamamul Haq. Well, he's been plugging away Jerome Taylor and finally gets, he's hit the inside edge a couple of times and finally gets Nzamam to play a cross one. And that one really pins him up in front of the stumps. After a good look, Daryl Harper sends the Pakistan captain Inzaman back to the hut for 10. It's 284 for 4.